I'm 34 years old, and yet I'm in better shape and better health than when I was a teenager. And believe it or not, the reason why my health is so much better now is not necessarily because of the exercises I do, but because of nutrition. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. And the very first video that I uploaded here on Minus the Gym, it's called my welcome video, it explained my story. And my story actually goes way back to 2011, all right? So eight years ago, when my health wasn't doing too well, it's all explained in the video, but I was able to turn things around, not just with exercise, but with something that I actually believe is more important than exercise, and that's nutrition. I've been getting a lot of requests in the comments for what I eat in a day kind of videos and more nutrition videos. So I decided I'm going to start a series. I'm going to put together a series of videos where I explain why I eat a plant predominant diet. And I'm going to start it off with this video where I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. And we're going to dive into all the nutrition, not just the macros, but also the micros, like the vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids, the fiber. We're going to look at everything I get from this food throughout the day. And I'm going to tell you all about why I love eating this way, how I've done it for eight years, and what other people have experienced, all the amazing benefits. So it's about 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and I fasted all morning, and now I go to the fridge and grab my blender pitcher out of there. And that pitcher has all these ingredients inside of it from last night when I prepared it. Three handfuls of spinach, three bananas, really ripe bananas by the way, three tablespoons of hemp seeds, and two cups of some other fruit. In this case, I used green grapes. I tend to change up that fruit quite often using two cups of pineapple, maybe two cups of peaches or mango, whatever's on sale and in season. And I added one cup of cannellini beans to my smoothie. Adding one cup of any white beans like navy or great northern or cannellini adds about 15 grams of protein and you hardly even notice it's there. So I put the blender pitcher on the base and then I flip it on, crank it up, and then away it goes for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then I pour this big 32 ounce green smoothie that's absolutely delicious and looks beautiful. All right, so now that I've enjoyed my smoothie, I'm gonna head outside, I gotta mow the lawn. All right, that's one of the many things I need to cross off my list today. So I'm gonna go do that, and chances are I'll be hungry again by the time I finish, because it's a pretty big yard. So I mowed, and mowed, and mowed some more, until finally, about two hours later, I was done. All right, grass is mowed, Yard work is done, and now it's time for meal number two. Luckily, I had some leftover quinoa on hand from a previous meal earlier in the week. It was still good, so I decided to use it. And to put on the quinoa, I decided to go with some fruit, so I chopped up a couple of these yellow Atalfo mangoes. They are my favorite fruit. I love Atalfo mangoes. And by dicing them like this, it's really easy to get nice cubed chunks of mango and they're easy to pull off, and they're the perfect size to mix with grains. I also went ahead and diced up a pineapple because pineapple and mango go hand in hand. I love that combination. And then once that was diced up, I put it on the quinoa, and I dressed it up with a little bit of cilantro for garnish. And well, not just garnish. I mean, the cilantro tastes really good with the pineapple, mango, and quinoa. This plate is just awesome. This is one of my go-tos fruit and grains with some herbs on top. Absolutely awesome. And you don't even need any sauce because the fruit juices moisten the grains. So that was meal number two. And then a few hours later, when my wife and daughter came home, we prepared dinner. And that involved chopping a lot of raw, fresh vegetables. Like I had the sweet peppers here, the tomatoes, the green onion. I got some black olives there, more cilantro. Put it all on a plate like this, just so we could grab what we want. And then this is some, it's called Beefless Ground by a company called Gardein. I get this from the grocery store. And I cooked that up in water instead of oil. Just fried it up. If you guys don't know why I avoid oil, stay tuned. I'm going to make a whole separate video about that. But that's basically some textured vegetable protein that I seasoned with taco seasoning. It's really good on the tacos. And we had some broccoli we wanted to use up in the fridge, so I went ahead 
and just boiled that broccoli for three minutes. It's that simple. You just bring water to a boil, three minutes in there, stirring it around, and that's the perfect way to cook broccoli. And I apologize, but my camera battery ran out at that point, so I just had to snap a picture of the meal with my phone. But here you go. We did a build your own taco night. That's a plate full of raw veggies, and we got corn tortillas, black beans, and some guacamole and salsa for condiments. And of course, the side of broccoli as well. Okay, if you made it this far into the video, we are now on the next day, and we're gonna be jumping into my laptop here and looking at all the nutrition that was in everything I ate yesterday. So here I am logged into Chronometer, and this is an app that I like to use to track my nutrition. A lot of people use something called MyFitnessPal. I tried that out for a little while, but I just stuck with Chronometer. I really like this app. It's intuitive and easy to use, and I really I think it's accurate too. So anyways, um, I'm logged in, and I've already entered everything that I ate yesterday, and I also added my exercise. You can see here that's the first line item here. It's calisthenics at vigorous effort. I did about, it was more than 30 minutes, but I was moving the camera quite a bit, so I just left it at 30. And then I entered my three meals that I ate yesterday, the smoothie, the quinoa fruit plate, and the tacos, all right? And I entered everything down there. Now, when you enter the foods, you can select them if you want and go down here and see how much nutrition that specific food is adding to your, uh, to your day. Or you can just have nothing selected and see the entire day's nutrition. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys down here, if you look at the macros, I actually ate quite a bit yesterday. Uh, I'm still in a slight deficit thanks to the working out that I did, but I consumed 28, over 2,800 calories, okay? And protein wound up at 112 grams. Carbs, over 550 grams. That's a lot, but that's great. And then fat, I came in a little low at 37 grams. And I was thinking, you know, I, I didn't buy any avocados at the store yesterday because they weren't on sale. They were pretty pricey and they didn't look very ripe. Uh, had I added some avocados, I probably would have came in. Oh wait, did I put olives? No, I didn't add the olives. See, it's a good thing we're doing this. Let me add olives real fast with you guys. Olives, I had black olives. Um, hmm. I'm sure it came out to at least half a cup, maybe more. We'll say, uh, meh they were sliced let's do three quarters cup so that's even more calories all right so i had 50 grams of fat not too bad and if you go down here further you can see uh it breaks down all the micros like the vitamins the minerals okay your your protein and everything is here and what i want to point out is that i really got a lot of the nutrition that i need for the day so if you look here at the vitamins, you can see I exceeded almost all of them except for vitamin E. I came in at 80%, but tons. I mean, look at this vitamin C. I got over 500%. Same thing with vitamin D because I took that supplement. Even my B12, and I didn't take my B12 supplement yesterday, but that Gardein, that beefless ground that was fortified with uh, vitamin B12, got plenty of minerals, came in a little low on, on calcium, just a touch at 93%. But, you know, if I would have added a little more broccoli to my dinner, I would have got that to 100 or above. Probably just a few more pieces of broccoli would have done it. And going down here to protein, looking at the amino acids, I got plenty of protein. And just so you guys know, if I bring up a calculator here, um, there's a lot of myths around protein. People think that you need, like, something that they say in bodybuilding is one gram per pound of body weight, but that's overkill. You know, the... In exercise science, what they teach is 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. So I weigh 81.3 kilograms. And if you multiply that by 1.2, which is the recommended amount, I need 97 grams to build strength and to build muscle mass if you're exercising. Well, I got over 97 grams. I actually got 113 yesterday from eating this food. So as you can see, I get plenty of nutrition here, and it's not a concern. I'm not, I'm not overweight, you know. I'm, I'm doing quite well, and I eat 563 grams of carbohydrates. So you can, the whole keto thing and carbs are bad. There's no truth to that, and I, along with many other people, are proof to that statement. 
So I wanted to show you guys this because I wanted you to see that when you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you know, I, I know not everything I ate yesterday was completely like whole food. For instance, the Gardein, okay, the beefless ground, that's like a textured vegetable protein. It's, it's highly processed. And same thing with the tortillas, the corn tortillas. But other than that, everything I ate was a whole food, and yet I got plenty of calories. I'm actually in a surplus with those olives that I added. And, I mean, if you wanted to build mass or lose weight, if you want to burn fat, you can do it, and it's healthier with a plant-based diet. And that's what I wanted to show you here. If we go down under fat, you can see cholesterol is 0%. Okay, I got zero cholesterol yesterday. Cholesterol is one of those things that a lot of people say, oh, you need it in your body, and that's true, but you produce it on your own. Every, every animal produces cholesterol just through metabolism. It's a byproduct of metabolism. You don't need to get it from your diet. And when I started eating plant-based in 2011, after about, I think, six or eight months of eating this diet, I went to the doctor, I got some blood work done just to check how things were doing, and it turns out it was perfect. My cholesterol was right where he wanted it. I think it was like 150, if that sounds right, 150 milligrams per deciliter. My doctor was thrilled. He said he rarely sees cholesterol as good as mine, his smack dab where it should be. And all my levels, all my vitamins were good in my blood. Uh, my testosterone level was great. I mean, everything was just perfect. He had no complaints. And I know I mentioned it earlier in this video, but if you haven't seen my welcome video yet, I encourage you to check that out because I explained my story, how I was able to overcome a bunch of health issues with this diet. And guys, I am not the only person experiencing these health benefits, right? If you think that this is some sort of fluke, that like, oh, well, it works for you, but it doesn't work for me. Well, that's not necessarily true. I mean, we're all from the same species. And I wanted to show you guys this website. This is called Forks Over Knives. This is actually, they, they made a documentary in 2011. It was released in, in early 2011. And when I saw that documentary, it, that's what turned me on to the plant-based diet. And if you go to uh, news feed here and success stories, I'll just put a link to Forks Over Knives in the description below. But you can go here and you can read success stories. You can see how people are reversing type 2 diabetes, they're reversing their heart disease, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, losing a lot of weight even in older age, um, conquered heart disease, I mean just kidney disease, just one after another, there's these amazing testimonials on their site. So it's not only me who experienced health benefits, there's some really amazing stories here on Forks Over Knives. And I encourage you, click the link below in the description to go to their website if you're interested in this and start reading through these testimonials because this is another great source of motivation to improve your diet. Okay, I'm kind of at the point that I'm just rambling here. So if you guys want to learn more about this diet that I eat, how I do it, and, and just I, I could go into a lot of detail on it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you get notified every time I upload because I'm going to be making more videos about nutrition. In fact, I'm making an entire playlist about this. So I really hope you're looking forward to that and you want to hear more because I'll be making a lot more videos. Cool. So stay tuned and I will talk to you guys in the next video.